Hey, I'm Michael Hahn. Grandkids call me Roo. Um, if you're watching this video, you have signed up or subscribed to Good News Roo. And so starting in April, uh, probably the second Tuesday of April, so look at that on your calendar. Um, we're going to start through the Gospel of John. And so this is about materials. What do I need to make this happen? First of all, uh, you're going to need a crossway Bible like this. The best thing I've found is that unless you are close to a local bookstore, is I just jump on Amazon and search crossway, C-R-O-S-W-A-Y, C-R-O-S-W-A-Y, and then look for scripture journal and type in the word John, and it should pop up. You want the one that's uh, a paper cover, um, and it's going to be a black uh, black Bible. And it's going to have the story on one side, like this, and this is going to be blank on the other. So I've already painted. You can see where I'm going to start through this again, but this is kind of what we're talking about doing. And here's what this has done for me. It has absolutely brought me into the story and helped re me remember um so many things in the scriptures. It's just been fabulous for me. When I look at some of these pictures over here and I look at something like this, I'll give you an example right here. When I look at uh, the sheep, I know without even looking at this page that I'm in John 10 because he's talking about, I am the good shepherd and the sheep hear my voice. So look, I don't expect you to come out of the shoot unless you've been sketching forever to draw things like this. But if you can write, if you can take notes, uh, you can adapt yourself to, to sketching. So here's the tools you need. First thing you need is this book. And uh, this is John. We're going to start second Tuesday of the month in this book again. Okay, so that's that's the gospel. What I do is I use watercolor for this and I use some small brushes or sometimes I even use what we call a, 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 a Pentel Aqua Brush. And of course I wouldn't have one up here on the deck. Would I? That would just be too easy. But it's a plastic brush. It's made by Pentel. It's called an aqua brush. You can get it at big box stores. Or if you have some little paint brushes around and you like to carry some of those around, you can use some of those too. Uh, these are American Journey brushes, uh, probably a number one, a number three. Um, but I use a small, sometimes just a small little nylon brush like this. This has water in it. Lots of times I do this at the kitchen table. I go down to make a cup of tea. I sit down, I open it up. I read a little bit. Sometimes I read again. I just look for an idea that might um, uh, sort of, here, here's one where Jesus says in John 8, I'm the light of the world. Well, all I had to do was draw a light bulb here because you see, Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness. And that I know now that that's John 8. I just know it. It's stuck in my head. I can tell you that if I draw a salt shaker, this was Matthew. If I draw a salt shaker, I know I'm in Matthew 5. There it is. Simple as that right there. So that's how this works. I did Matthew. I've done all the way up through 2 Thessalonians. But I want to go back and start John with some folks here. So first thing is a brush, some watercolor. Could you use watercolor pencils? You bet. There are all kinds of, could you use colored pencils? You could. Uh, you can use anything you want, but uh, if you're going to buy watercolor pencils, it'll say the word watercolor on it. And the cool thing about watercolor pencils is if you have uh, some of those, you can actually put them in the water and mark with them, or you can actually mark with them and then take a brush and wet the brush and then bring that color to life and it'll move around a little bit. Um, I use Prismacolor and I use just a General's pencil also. There are pencils that are just colored pencils and not watercolor pencils. This pencil will break down and, and run. Here's what I normally use. In a small box with some little half tins, I take my paints, which come in tubes, and I squeeze the paint down in these little half pans, and I put them in here like this, and that's what I paint with most of the time. It just means that I have this, this, a pencil, a pen. What kind of pens do I use? I'll show you. These two, and I'm off and running and ready to go do some art. Hey, if you're going to buy a watercolor brush to do this with, don't buy a watercolor brush that's one of those that you do acrylic with and all the ends are just sticking out like this. Buy a brush that has a point and is round on the end, something like this. This is actually a number six brush. I don't know that I've ever used one that large in this. Here's a number three, but you can see how when I wet this brush, it holds really a nice little point for painting with. That's a number three American Journey brush. American Journey comes from Cheap Joe's art stuff. I've been using their stuff since I started painting, so I just stick with it. This, if you're taking notes, and you can watch this again, this is a Pentel, P-E-N-T-E-L. It's a Pentel pen, and it's an inner gel. 
E N E R G E L. It's liquid gel ink, but here's here, write this down. It's needle tip. Needle tip. Why do I use needle tip? Well, if there's a five and a seven, and sometimes they both come in different colors, but in, in a number five pen, the, the needle tip, it's an 05 or an 07 of the ones I use. It really gives me the, the, the ability to draw a finer line. And watch what happens if I draw this line. You can see me drawing and adding to this right here. I can come back in now with my brush and add a little bit of water to this line and look what happens. It really, the line itself bleeds, and that really makes my painting come to life a little more. And so these things are always a finished work, not never a finished work of art. You can always add to them and come back. And it just, uh, it's really fabulous to, to create this, is that this is in John 14, where the Holy Spirit is coming, and he said, my peace I give to you. And so there's a, a nice little painting. If you can see, that is the picture of sort of a dove there. It represents the Holy Spirit. Remember, that's what happens when Jesus is baptized. That's probably in this draw. Oh, there it is right there. There's the first one. So I've done this dove when it comes down, when John baptizes Jesus. And now I have this one here of his leaving peace to the disciples in John 14. Okay, so the Bible, some watercolor of some sort. What could you use? Could you... Um, uh, you can use Crayola watercolors, but they don't have a whole lot of pigment in them. And I think you're going to have to push it a little harder. I'd buy a, an upscale sketching pad or maybe some better colors of some sort. Do I have more? I have all kinds of little containers of watercolors that I use um, that, are, that come in blocks, um, pads. Um, I keep them all sorts of things. You guys know that. Here's... here's uh, Here's some that uh, are massive, and they're from the Yasutoma Company out in California. But I do this because it fits in my briefcase, and I can take it with me wherever I go. Two pins. Uh, the question is, do I use ballpoints sometimes? No, I don't really. <laughs> if I that's all I have, I'll use a ballpoint pen. But I like these needle tips because they sketch better. Do I use fountain pens? All the time. Okay, so it doesn't take much for me to grab a fountain pen and pop it open. And, uh, and sketch. But I will tell you this about fountain pens. They bleed or the ink flows more than it does with this ink. And so sometimes it'll get away from you. When you're just starting, I wouldn't start with the fountain pen. I'd start with just another pen that you feel comfortable with. So a few tools. Uh, we're going to, uh, the first one or two times we meet, we'll talk about all this again. But if you're getting ready, you want to order your Bible. It's the gospel according to John. And it's by Crossway, once again, Scripture Journal, and that's what you need. So I'm excited we're going to do this. Uh, whether you like coffee, whether you like tea, whatever you put in your cup of, get yourself a cup of made. And it's 8.57 on Tuesday mornings, the second, third, and fourth Tuesdays of the month. The first Tuesday, I'll probably just run a video and catch up with you. Um, 8.57, I'm going to do this one first, and then I'm going to jump into another art show that I do uh, at the bottom of the hour. So this one's going to come first. Uh, Good news, Rue. If you want to invite people in, there's no charge. Um, some people support me in this already. And if you want to do that, I, I'm happy to tell you how you can do that. If you want to tip or if you want to give to the show or get, right now, I feel great about just offering this and let's get um, the good news out there and painting it. It's really helped me remember. And that's just been awesome. And that's been my word this year too. Just remember. Remember who I am. Remember whose I am. Remember what I need to do. Remember my calling. Uh, I love art. And it's, it's my art, by the way, by drawing all these uh, stories has just increased so much. It's gotten so much better. Just these little stories that take us through these things. And so going from just barely learning how to sketch them until sketching them better has just helped me so much. I think you can see that one and probably know that in John 6, Jesus leaves his disciples one night and says, I'm going around the lake. I just need to talk to the Father. And they're crossing the lake in the night. We'll tell the story. And then he comes walking to them on the water in the middle of the night. <laughs> so on ones like this, I might sketch with a pencil. I might take a pencil. And I might just carefully lay out uh, some of the pieces a little better and then just gently wash on some color. I'm not trying to make a gallery piece of art here. I'm trying to make a tool, a mnemonic that reminds me of what the story is. And that's good news. Good news, Ruth. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. And uh, I'll see you soon. I'm out of here. Boing.